This is my dad. And this is my iPhone. And earlier today, they got rather well acquainted with each other, which you'd think would be awesome. Except for the part that it almost cost me over $200. Yeah, how's that for awesome? Hey, welcome to episode number 117 of The Langel Show. My name is Brian Langel, and you know, I must be getting rather familiar, rather comfortable with these openings, because when I spit out the number, it sounds like I'm channeling 80s wrestling star Randy Macho Man Savage. Ooh, yeah! Which, of course, went out in the 80s, so... Let's not date myself any more than that and just move on with the show. So, like I said in the opening there, my dad almost cost me over $200 today. And normally I'd be pretty pissed about that, but it's my dad and I really can't get upset with him because my dad and technology go together well. Let me think, what's a good analogy? Like shit and strawberry shortcake. That's a really good connection. You know, that that's about the, 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 the size of it. And I'm not going to try to say which side is which. I'm just going to say they don't play well together. Anyway, so here's the deal. My dad thought it would be great to send me a video file because he thought it was funny and I should check it out. And I'm all for sharing the videos, obviously. But what I'm not really all for is the fact that you don't send them to electronic devices that charge for downloading with bandwidth. That's a bad idea, kids. I don't recommend that to anybody. Unless, of course, you really hate them, in which case, fill their inbox. Just not mine. So my dad sends me this email, which, which is fine. I'm totally cool with that. I'm sitting there on my MacBook Pro, checking my mail, and in comes this file with a large attachment. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Then I realize, shit, it's an address that's linked to my phone. I look down at my iPhone and it's bringing in the exact same message. And I'm like, oh God, what's the date? And the reason I say that is because I'm near the end of my billing cycle for my iPhone. And if you go over your monthly quota, they charge you five cents a K, which doesn't seem like a lot, right? Until you download a four meg video because that four meg video turns out to be $208.15 before taxes. And I'm sitting there going, please, please let this be past my billing cycle. So while this is downloading, I'm on the Rogers website trying to find out when my cycle ended. And luckily it was a couple days ago. So I'm now, you know, 500 mags to spend again. But I'm like, I better take care of this. So I phone my dad and I'm like, dad, how's it going? And he's like, good. I'm like, you know that email you just sent me? He's like, yeah, wasn't that funny? I'm like, not really. I'm like, because you sent it to my iPhone. He's like, no, I didn't. I sent it to your email address. And I'm like, okay, there goes the whole technology understanding thing. And I didn't have time to explain all this to him. I just said, yeah, but when you send things to that address, it gets picked up by my phone. He goes, well, that's good. You can take it wherever you go. I'm like, yeah, except for the part that I'd have to pay for it. I don't care if you send me email. In fact, I encourage that because I'm all for the whole, you know, family conversation communication thing. Just don't send attachments to that address because it goes through to my iPhone. His response, he deletes the email address out of his address book, which really is a little bit extreme. You know, that, that that's a little bit too far, but at the same time, I think it's going to save me money. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching episode number 117 of The Landrell Show. You can check me out, thelandrellshow.com and youtube.com. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Langell and dailybooth.com slash Langell if you're looking for some kind of pictures of a goofy guy like me. You can also check me out on TLS Live, that's Friday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Atlantic, 5 o'clock Pacific, and midnight GMT. Thanks to my UK correspondent for straightening me out on that one. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. That's Friday night, and I hope to see you there. Take care.